Here we go. There you go. So see right there, he's wanting to stay with us now. There you go. There you go. So that's a great improvement over those first couple of days. There you go. I was kind of rubbing with the rope here now. Kind of get the rope over his neck. Now he kind of feels caught. And what's fun is kind of get him again following the weight of the rope. Should be able to start slipping the halter on you pretty easy now. Very good. There you go. There you go. And with that rope. Good boy. Kind of seesaw that rope around his neck. And what I'm going to try to do is. Kind of get him to take a step towards me right there. Kind of let him feel me seesaw in there a little bit. And I'll get it over his nose. I'll get him tied. When he feels that rope, that weight come up in that rope and make contact there, I'm going to suggest that he maybe there, kind of seek some softness. So there, so come forward. Good, good. I'll just reward him for that. That was a really good try for him. Good, I want him believing that when the weight comes up and he makes a little contact, he should maybe try to seek some softness in that rope. My friend uh, Warwick Schiller, I saw him one time in one of his videos. Somebody asked him about their horse pulled back and his question was, how does the horse lead? Does he give to the pressure of the halter? And this here, I think, is kind of what he had in mind. Why would I try to teach a horse to tie that couldn't even give like that? So first things first, I know people will just go tie a horse up and let him fight and thrash. Uh, I'm not really a fan of it. Good, good boy. But what I will do to him is, and you always want to tie at eye level or above. So what I will do is let him kind of feel that I've taken up a little tension and there. Just go seek some relief and slacken that rope. Notice I just have that wrapped around that pipe there. So if he went to pull back, I mean, he, he wouldn't feel stuck. He could feed a little rope to himself. But I want to believe in that things coming up here like this. There, aren't to hurt you. I don't want him thinking it's okay to sit back on that rope. Ooh. There we go. I'm just letting him feel that nice flat bladed, braided uh, rope. Ooh. There. Just let him feel. No one's here to hurt him or scare him. He's got slack in the rope. I like that. We'll kind of take his foot away from him here for just a second. There. Only do what you think he can handle. Good boy. Put a little tension, make it burn just a little. There you go. Ask for a front foot. And just shake it a little. Good boy. Ask for a hind foot here. Just don't take it for too long. There. Kind of shake it around a little. Ask for, I kind of rubbed that bone there, but there just a little bit. Ask him to, there. 
Shake it around a little bit. Good boy. He's safe. If he pulled back, he could pull that rope so he's not going to hurt his neck. He should come forward. Good. If there's tension, failure to move, there. If there's tension to come forward, there you go. Good boy. I'm just telling how smart he is on everything. Tension, flag, good. Very good. There. We'll just be done with that. His first time looking at the tarp. Looky here. He wants to explore it. He's obviously not afraid. I'll let him. Sure never want to force anything on him. Very good. I like that he came to me there just because I barely picked up on good. that. Good boy. Your little baby, you're pretty brave. That's a different horse than the one that was tearing around the pen yesterday. Please. Thank you. Ah. Yeah. Wouldn't be a bad idea up unless uh, he was pretty soft to the feel of that rope. And you can see he caught on pretty darn quick. <laughs> for you, you guys may be looking for a little performance horse. Uh, Boy, you want one that'd catch on to that that quick, wouldn't you? Huh? Look how quick he just kind of step across there in the front like that. And that's just uh, three days with halter training, step across there. Good boy. Crooks and crannies. And we'll just kind of take that foot away from him there for just a second. It's kind of put oh, nice. Look how soft he is about that. Good boy. Let's take that away again. And I'll just kind of reach down here and say, why don't you give me that front foot? Very good. And I like to kind of, if I can, kind of shake that just a little bit. Just kind of ask for that hind, kind of nice like. If I can, I'll just kind of shake it for him a little bit. And I put my thumbnail right against that bone right there until he kind of goes, man, that's kind of uncomfortable. And then I'll kind of flop that foot. And I try to set him down on his toe there if I can. And then, looky here. Shake that around. Try to set him down on his toe like that. Good boy. There you go. Very good. Come forward here with it. There you go. Can I? If he wants to explore it, I let him. Ask for, for some forward motion. There. Even that little try right there is enough. There you go. If he wants to get up there. Telling how smart he is. There you go. Ooh. Very good. This right here is your next extreme cowboy racehorse, I think, guys. Okay. Thing we're asking of her. We just want her to keep reintroducing this stuff to her so that she knows that this is going to be kind of a part of her life. Things around her belly, things around her legs. See, that kind of irritated her just a little. Good girl. And just kind of, boy, she's got some pretty color. Let her feel all that happen in there. Then go ahead and take that hind foot away from her. And there she's soft. Take it away. Soft. Good. There. Let's ask her again. And set her down easy. 
for it. There. Ask her again here because it was quiet. If she wants to explore it, I'm fine. Now let's take up the tension. A little forward motion, please. There. I'm going to go ahead and stop her right there on the tarp. Reassure her. There you go. to believe the quietest place on the farm is right up the middle of these noodles here. There. There you go. See? It's the right thing to do. Look at that leg shaking. There. Ooh. Little forward motion. There. Ooh. There, aren't you smart? And we'll just kind of finish on that because we don't want to unravel this and then have her get scared. Just leave it there for a few moments so she likes it up there. If she wants to drop just the fronts off. I like that kind of stuff right there, guys. There. Okay. Call it good.